Welcome to Beer Untapped with Perry Miller, the podcast. I'm joined by Seth. Hey, welcome, guys. Thanks for finding us on, uh, on, the, on the internet. Now, these shows originally aired on Brookings Radio, but now they're all here for your enjoyment. I hope you like it. There you go. Sit back, enjoy the show, relax. Uh, let us know if you want to see anything on future shows. As we said, the, this comes out live in the Brookings area, but enjoy this archive episode. Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. Welcome to Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. This week, the Sioux Falls Craft Beer Expo. Second year here in Sioux Falls. It uh, was another great success. Uh, great turnout. People are having a great time. Lots of really good beers. Uh, really exciting to have uh, 10 new breweries that are participating with us. Uh, just so much to to talk about and so many great things that went on today. That's Mark Opdahl, one of the organizers of the Sioux Falls Craft Beer Expo. Saturday's event looked like another big success and... It was another great show for Wooden Lakes Brewing of Brookings as they win the People's Choice Award for the second straight year. Their Imperial Stout, Poganophilia, takes the honors this year. We've always made beers that we love, you know, and that was why we got into this business. That's why we, we started sharing our beers with the people we know when we started home brewing. And, you know, that's ultimately why we started selling our beers is because we love the beers that we make. And it, it's it's wonderful. It, it's it's flattering, and it's, 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 it's really an enjoyment to see other people enjoy the fruits of our labor and, and, and to be recognized is just something else. And I mean that we, we appreciate that. We knew it was a great beer. We were happy to share it. Seth Cook there. Now they've won with two completely different beers last year, a fresh hop IPA this year, a big, bold Imperial style. I guess it kind of shows the range of the craft beer drinkers of the world. There is no right answer for any single beer. It also shows the, some of the flexibility that we have as a small brewery because our system is, is so small. We can, we can be really adaptive to the different beers we want to make. We don't have to commit to large 30 barrel batches. Well, I'd love to make 30 barrels at some point, but we don't have to commit to large 30 barrel batches. We can make very specialized things and, and it, you know, gives us some, some leeway, some flexibility to, to, to put beers together there was stiff competition as there were great beers from nearly 50 brewers at this year's event including nine breweries from south dakota several of whom were not yet producing beer at last year's expo abdal says it's an indication of the growing craft movement in this state i mean for instance coming out the gate with the 30 barrel system is pretty darn impressive the guys at wood grain downtown they got a killer spot and their beers are solid hydra you know they're going to be opening up sometime uh, here later this year or early next year and that's going to be great and, and obviously i'm sure there's another dozen in planning that we don't even know about so it's really really exciting time for uh south dakota beer scene abdal's business partner juno Choi says the area could become another midwest beer destination i myself have been in the beer industry for about 13 years so i've really gotten to see that take off in the twin cities what we're experiencing right here at the expo is really what i think the twin cities was maybe uh just a few years back maybe about five years back or so so i think there's only great things to come from this area. Opdahl says they're already looking ahead to next year's Sioux Falls Craft Beer Expo. Oh, we'll be back November 5th. Oh, you already have a date. Oh, I already got the date. We <laughs> blocked it off, and uh, I'm not saying that it's going to get bigger, but we have the uh, facility, a little bit more of the facility reserved, so we will be able to expand if necessary. We'll hear from some of the area breweries at the Expo when Beer Untapped continues. It's heaven, there is no beer. That's why. Welcome back to Beer Untapped as we look back at the Sioux Falls Craft Beer Expo. Luke Rensick, brewer at Take 16 in Ivanhoe, Minnesota, says it was a big week for them as they just got their bottling line cranked up for the first time. We just started bottling uh, a couple days ago. Should be uh, in the market in another couple weeks. Uh, we're, we're hoping to bottle all four of our year-round beers. Um, and then coming in... Uh, March, we're going to be doing an Imperial IPA called Kick the Bucket. It's going to be pretty exciting. Then later, we're going to do a very hoppy uh, pale ale, no, which is unnamed yet. It means you should soon see Take 16 beers available at your favorite bottle shop, including Brookings Liquor Store. We should be uh, shipping out Country Mile in a couple weeks. Um, and then hopefully our other beers uh, to follow. Country Mile, by the way, is the top-notch Kolsch. Hydra Brewing of Sioux Falls poured their beers at the Expo. Up to now, they've been contract brewing, having their beers made at a brewery in Wisconsin, but they're working on a tap room and production brewery in Sioux Falls. Co-owner Chad Pettit says... 
They're about two years ahead of their own schedule. He believes the craft beer scene is set for continued growth in eastern South Dakota. Sioux Falls is still a relatively larger footprint for as minimal as there is here. So I think there's room for more. I think there's room for growth. I think uh, all the breweries will see growth. You know, the more of us that, that get together and, and kind of pool together really enlightens the public awareness of what's going on and uh, to get people to branch out and try some new things. So I really think growth-wise... In the next, you know, two to five years is going to be huge for all of the current breweries for sure. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's another handful to pop up in the next, you know, 12 to 24 months. They hope to have their tap room open next month with the brewery online in February. Andrew McGuire is the brewer at the Knuckle in Sturgis. That's a long established bar saloon that opened a brewery in 2014. McGuire says... It's also going better for them than expected. They hope to sell more beer on the eastern side of the state soon. We've uh, been growing pretty fast ever since. We're talking about expanding already. We've got a 10-barrel system. We are distributing statewide. In South Dakota, we're considering maybe trying to move into western Wyoming at this point, or eastern Wyoming at this point, too. We haven't really gotten established as well on this side of the state. We've had some people that have really been great. You know, Wooden Legs is Porter Beer. There's a few places here in Sioux Falls. The Knuckles beers currently draft only. McGuire says they hope to be able to bottle their beers at some point in the future. The Sioux Falls Craft Beer Expo, among the highlights to this second year, all the South Dakota brewers as well as trying beers from New Holland, now in South Dakota, as well as toppling Goliath Brewing of Iowa and indeed brewing out of the Twin Cities, a couple of breweries we should soon be seeing more of here. And did you try that 2012 Bigfoot? Wow, that was good. One final item today, if you can't make it down to the game in Vermilion Saturday, Seth says you can watch it at Wooden Legs. It's rivalry week. Jackrabbits are heading down to Vermilion. That's that little town somewhere south of here. I know a lot of people are heading out on the road. I know a couple people can't make it, so we are going to have a watch party. Come on by. The smoker's going to be cooking. We're going to cook some turkey legs. Why? Because nothing feels more primal than ripping into a turkey leg. So we're going to have some turkey legs. We're going to have some beer. We're going to watch the jackrabbits tear apart the coyotes. That's it for this week's show. And you know the drill. Drink local and drink responsibly. Thank you for listening to this archived edition of Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. Feel free to listen to other episodes. And if there's anything you'd like us to talk about on a future show, please let us know. Thanks again.